These are our 13 chicks hatched in the garden a couple of weeks ago. In this film, I want to share how to help a sick or injured chick without stressing it out by keeping it too long away from its mother. This is one of my little chicks. They've been free ranging in the garden because if I put them in a run, there's too many of them to be fed in a run and they really don't grow as well as if they free range. So I kept going out and checking them, but suddenly there were only 12 and we looked for a couple of hours, couldn't find him, couldn't hear him. And then strangely enough, at night, there he was back again. And the next day I noticed that he didn't look quite right and eventually that little noise he's making now is his happy noise, so he's fine. Uh, but he, he is stressed out when he, he is away from his mother. But all yesterday he wasn't feeling so well, so he's perfectly all right just uh, with me. But today he's feeling much better, so he's calling for his mother. But I'm still going to treat him. I'm just going to treat him, then I'm going to put him out again. And this is just a little film to show you about treating a very small chick, because it is quite difficult to do. And I'll show you what's wrong with him. He's obviously been caught somewhere, that's why he didn't come back for a couple of hours. And he's he's made his way out and unfortunately he's removed his feathers and his skin in doing it. It looks like he's been caught by that leg. First of all I'm going to give him some to drink. Come on chick. It's nice. Come on. Come on. Mm. They're nice. Sticky on your beak. Yesterday I gave him quite a bit, so he should be alright with that. Um, also, he will have been on quite a bit of stress if he has been caught somewhere. Uh, yesterday, the first thing I did was to give him um, some uh, organic, unpasteurized cider vinegar as a uh, reboot for his system because I was afraid he'd been dehydrated and uh, also a tiny bit of organic raw cane sugar as well. So that got him going and you can see he's eating well, he's talking well. He's quite okay and he, it's great that he is now today calling for his mother because that means he wants to go outside so I'm just going to do a quick treatment on him. First thing I'm going to treat is his foot because he's scraped all the feathers off his foot and leg. Because he's a part, he is a part coaching, so he's got furry feet. And he's got to be very careful to be very gentle. That's how I'm doing it with this cotton bud. Tiny little bird like this. And then just dab it on because he's actually pulled the skin right off. It's almost like taking off a pair of pajamas off his leg. Okay. As I say, this is a great painkiller, so if he's in any pain. That's it, just a bit more. Just here looks really vague. He just needs a bit of reassuring. As long as he's making that noise, that tweeting noise, like he's making now, you know he's okay. 